This is a review for the Echovax D-Bot T30S. The T30S usually retails for between $700 and $1,000, which makes it an expensive mid-range option or an inexpensive premium option based on how we classify robots. So which is it? Does it have the features and performance to compete with premium robots or is it just an overpriced mid-range option? Let's take a look. The T30S's airflow was measured at 24 CFM. Its suction was measured at 0.81 kPa. This is well above average airflow and suction compared to most other robot vacuums we've tested, including the best premium options on the market. The T30S features a fairly standard brush roll and side brush design. Its brush roll is about six and a quarter inches wide, and it also has a side brush which flicks debris from the perimeter of the robot into the path of its brush roll. With this design, it got mixed results in our pickup tests. In our carpet stress test, the T30S doesn't pick up all of the debris on its first pass, but it picks up most debris over two passes. This is a fairly average result for this test. In our carpet deep clean test, on default power, it picked up eight grams of debris after three passes over an area of carpet embedded with 30 grams of fine debris. On maximum power, it picked up 10 grams of debris in the same test. These are both above average results, even compared to most premium robots we've tested. Moving on to our hard floor stress test, the T30S once again picks up most types of debris very well. However, it does struggle a bit with sand. You can see here how it leaves behind lines of sand on the left and right side of the cleaning station. In the same test, we can also see how well the T30S can clean along edges. And we do see it pathing sufficiently close to the edge to pick up most debris lying along the edge without issue. The T30S did not perform well in our crevice test. Even after extensive runtime, it wasn't able to pick up any debris out of the crevice used for this test, both on default and maximum power. The silver lining, most other robots we tested, including some premium models, performed equally poorly in this test. The T30S also struggled in our human hair pickup test. In this test, it picked up all the hair, but most of that hair wasn't pulled into its dustbin. 70 to 90% of the hair it picked up tangled around its brush roll and had to be cleaned off manually. Here, its performance once again isn't great, but is still right around average. Its brush roll also features this groove design, which allows you to cut hair off of the brush roll quite easily. In our pet hair pickup test, we see the first real evidence of the T30S not being able to compete with top rated premium options. In this test, it struggled a bit with its obstacle detection feature turned on. It hesitates quite a bit before pathing over the tufts. We didn't see the same issue with top rated premium options. With obstacle detection turned off, the T30S performs much better. It paths right over the tufts with no hesitation and is able to collect all of the shorter pet hair used for this test in its dustbin. The T30S is well equipped for mopping. It has two rotating mopping pads and one of them extends away from the robot to clean edges. In our dried on stain test, it doesn't properly clean the stains over a single pass, but does clean them very well over multiple passes. In our sticky stain test, it's able to clean the stain along the top edge of the test station and the stain in the corner of the test station much better than most other mopping robots we've tested. The T30S is also able to lift its mopping pads nine millimeters off the ground when crossing rugs or carpet. And in our mop lifting test, it does so without issue. Moving on to navigation, we tested the T30S's cleaning efficiency and coverage in two different environments, an empty room and a cluttered room. In our empty room testing, we do see some pathing idiosyncrasies. The robot repeatedly veers away from edges in this test. It starts off well enough along the right edge, but veers away repeatedly from both the top and left edge. Outside of this quirk though, the T30S does get good redundant coverage in this test. In our clutter room test, the T30S starts off the run by pathing inefficiently around this top rectangular container. It makes a 180 degree turn at the corner of this container instead of just pathing all the way around it. It again paths straight up the right edge, but veers away from both the top and left edges. It does path very precisely around the chair legs. Uh, many robots we've tested will move this chair frame quite a bit trying to clean around it, and the T30S does not. It finally gets to the other side of the top rectangular container near the end of the run, with good redundant coverage over all areas of the room overall. The T30S uses a laser mounted to the top of the robot to navigate around larger obstacles like table and chair legs. It uses two cross lasers and a 3D structured light system mounted to the front of the robot to navigate around smaller obstacles like shoes and charging cables. In this final navigation test, we evaluate how well it can navigate around smaller obstacles. In this first trial, it starts off the run well enough. It's able to avoid both pedway sprouts, but it eventually catches the edge of the sock 
and runs right over this power cable. It also eventually catches the edge of the larger pad waste prop. In the second trial, it immediately catches the edge of the smaller pad waste prop, and again has a lot of trouble with the power cord. Overall, the T30S's small obstacle detection is much closer to that of a mid-range robot than it is to that of a premium robot. Other important specifications and test results we considered for this review are summarized here. Note especially that this is a full-fledged mapping robot that has the ability to map multiple floors of your home. And using the Echovax companion app, you can label different parts of the generated map, set the robot to clean specific parts of the map, or set it to stay out of certain parts of the map. In the same chart, also note the robot's runtime, bin volume, and noise output, and how those specifications and test results compare to the average for all the robot vacuums we've tested so far. Lastly, note the robot's diameter and height. These dimensions make the T30S an average size robot vacuum. Moving on to what we like and dislike about this vacuum, first let's talk about what we like. The T30S has excellent airflow and suction. It deep cleans and picks up surface level debris on carpet well. We also really like its mopping features, specifically its extendable mopping pad. And we like its mopping performance. This robot also has very good battery life and low noise output. Moving on to what we dislike about this vacuum, the T30S had some trouble in our hard floor stress test, specifically with sand. It also struggled a bit in our navigation testing. It veered away from certain edges and didn't always path very efficiently. Lastly, it performed quite poorly in our small obstacle detection and avoidance testing. When it comes to general recommendations, the T30S is generally not recommended. Top rated, much cheaper mid-range robots pick up fine debris better on hard floors and navigate better. And so we would recommend those robots over the T30S. Top rated, though more expensive premium options also pick up better on hard floors and navigate better. They also have properly working small obstacle detection and have several additional premium features as well. See the description of this video for a link to the latest updated list of all of the robot vacuums we recommend. And thank you for watching.